Hello everyone! This week I would like to... well, hmm... As we all know, asexual erasure happens in pretty much any media that exists. Whether it be movies, or other things, or music, and books is one of the main places where I encounter it. Um, recently, I decided to reread a book that I wanted to I wanted to see if I found it as entertaining as I did the first time I read it through. The short answer is no I didn't and the reason is well when I was reading it I came across a specific passage that made me go oh since I'd already read it before I knew how it ends so let's see if I can find it. Do 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 do. You may be wondering why I haven't actually decided to tell you what the name of this book is or show it. The reason is because I'm not recommending this book to anyone. I'm not reviewing this book. I'm just saying that it's a Todd. It's it's in here, and I don't think anyone should ever be forced to read it. The first time I read this book was out loud at a convention line and we were all sniggering our heads off because of it. <laughs> so, um, if you need any more information about what I mean from this book, there is a pink stripe at the bottom of the cover and that is all you need to know. Found it! <laughs> this book is such a mess. It took me so long. Anyways, um, so the passage here which describes um, <clears throat> something, so um, let's see. This person, I'm, I'm not going to say names. Um, so in the description of this character in the book, there's one part where they get to randomly talking about his availability to women um, or his attractiveness to women which came out of nowhere because this book is kind of poorly written um and there's this one part where uh so it, it mentions that um this person he did have a sex drive but it was on the low side um and there's this basically this huge part where it's talking about how he can get a girlfriend but he chooses to he kind of he's kind of very bad at them and would rather not have it and there's quite a few bits of that um and I found that the first time I read that I was I was like okay and of then the second time I read it I was like oh hmm because by the end of the book um <laughs> He and whatever partner he ends up with are, you know, doing it like rabbits. And, uh, I told you it was kind of tawdry. Um, but, uh, the thing that, you know, really bothered me about this is that it, it, out of context it might seem a little whatever, but, um, in the narrative, it's establishing that that um, uh, that basically he's not really interested it's until um, the other, the main love interest of the story appears and converts him essentially into wanting sex more um, than he did before, and. I found that it's basically a whole kind of idea where, you know, finding the right one thing. And yeah, um, the first time I read it through, I was like, well, actually the first time I read it through, there were a lot of things that made me go. And the second time I was like, uh, you know, um, and I know that there's lots of places. When I uh, when I read this through the second time, I was thinking of other books in this genre that have similar ideas of 
finding the right one. Um, and I, f I realized that there are a lot, like, um, particularly um, in this genre, it suffers from the idea that a person is, uh, you know, a specific is is waiting for that right person to come along, or is, um, of uh, you know, not interested until the right person comes along. There's, it's really prolific, and yeah. So I, I that's just my thing, I guess, that has been bothering me. <sighs> All right, uh. Yeah, sorry I, that if you really, really dying to know what book this is, um, I'm sorry, but you're not gonna find out <laughs> unless, I don't know, you, uh, no, you're not gonna find out. It's gonna be buried somewhere. <laughs> so, uh, see you next week.